Over the past 25 years, Hubble has told us a story of creation, destruction, and of vast new mysteries that beckon our curiosity. But putting it in space long seemed an impossible dream, even to those who took on the challenge. I started out in optical astronomy and spectroscopy. But as a woman in my generation, I could not get tenure at a research institution. In 1959, when NASA was formed, one of the men there asked me if I knew anyone who would like to set up a program in space astronomy. And I decided that the idea of influencing astronomy for 50 years was just more than I could resist, and so I took the job. Astronomer Nancy Roman is known as the mother of the Hubble. She worked on its design and development for nearly 25 years. If I brought anything to it, it was perseverance and belief that it, that it was possible. The idea of a space telescope was first seriously proposed in 1946 by Princeton scientist Lyman Spitzer. He was the scientific visionary, and Roman was the force that pushed this vision forward, decades before the technology was up to the task. Even into the mid-60s, just getting a rocket safely into space was a challenge. There were a lot of failures. babies learning how to walk. And uh, we didn't always succeed. Babies fall down and we did too. But however far-fetched at the time, the lure of getting a telescope above the distortion of the Earth's atmosphere was strong. <laughs> 